Trading, the Market Academy, the home of sports trading. Hi, I'm Mark, and this video is from the Trading and Market Academy, the home of sports trading. In this video, we're going to be looking at cricket trading. Instead of simply betting on a team and hoping they will win, a cricket trader uses the flow of a match to predict how the market price is going to move. It's just like the stock market. Trading cricket markets works the same way with every other sport in the Betfair Exchange. The numbers in blue are your odds at place of bat bet if you think the selection will win. And if you are against a specific outcome, the lay bet is placed with a pink colour odds. Tens of millions of pounds are traded at big cricket games. Some cricket matches last a whole day or even five days. So even if you're busy, you will still be able to find an hour to trade when time becomes available for you. Another plus, it has no off season, so you can find games to trade all year round. Cricket also only has one or two big matches per day, so that can help you narrow down your focus. And that will give you a chance to study the market at your own pace. If you're a football trader and tend to over trade, then cricket might be an option for you as it's impossible to trade too many matches at once. There is no wealth of knowledge on the internet, meaning the most cricket traders are not well educated. If you consider all the facts, you can see that you can easily have an edge at trading cricket when you get the knowledge. So let's look at why do cricket odds move. In cricket, the odds move pre-match are mainly stable without significant movements. Only breaking news with key players missing will change the odds drastically. So monitoring the team news can prove to be beneficial in catching some considerable price movements. Before the match starts, the coin toss will affect the movement of the prices. As soon as the toss is done, you can see that it immediately affects the odds. That also correlates with the expected weather conditions, especially on T20s. Many wickets in quick succession can fling the match around in the other direction. A boundary or a decent run rate will also move prices. Markets at cricket are highly volatile, which means the markets are often overreact on certain occasions. As with every other sport, being involved in many market cycles is the best way to learn how to predict the odds movement. Before starting cricket trading, you need to understand that cricket, unlike other sports, is played in several formats. Some games last a few hours while test international games may last for a few days. Domestic tournaments are also played in different formats. So if you're going to get involved in cricket trading in the Betfair Exchange, the first thing you need to do is understand the rules. For example, the ties a draw are two different things. The tie is when the scores are the same on such occasions as bets on Betfair Exchange are voided. A draw occurs when the teams do not finish the match. This mostly happens on test matches where innings are only concluded when the team loses all 10 wickets. You also have to consider that many games that usually end the day with a postponement for the next day due to bad weather conditions. Depending on the strategy you're following, statistics may play an important role in your trading decision. Now let's elaborate a bit more on how you can trade cricket matches. The primary market for cricket trading is match odds. This is basically the only market that professional cricket traders use, as there is only market with massive liquidity. In limited overs, cricket is simply a two-way market where you can either back or lay one or the other team. No draw is available, with the tie being the only possible outcome if the scores are level. The draw is a possible outcome in the test match version, so this is a three-way market. You can also find markets that are genuinely not ideal for trading as low liquidity. These markets are only suitable for simple back selection. Some examples are finding the leading run scorer, the leading wicket taker, number of boundaries and others. Liquidity. There is a hell of a lot of money traded on cricket. If we look at the big cricket matches, we usually have tens of millions of pounds traded on it. The match odds markets are very liquid, making them great for trading. Pre-match cricket trading. As the name suggests, pre-match trading is when traders are trying to take advantage of the market moves before the start of the game. Like football trading, the cricket markets are stable before the event starts. Unless important breaking news, like missing players changing bad weather conditions result in significant market moves, the prices will move only for a few ticks. The pros of pre-match cricket trading are that the odds are moving at a very low pace and because of the high liquidity you might be able to scout the markets for a few ticks. The small earnings can happen many times before the start of the game. You may also catch the big market moves that breaking news trigger if you're quick enough to get in on time. Also, after big moves, there is a bounce back as markets tend to overreact. This trading technique is called swing trading. On the other hand, you're always at risk of getting caught in breaking news triggers significant price movements. If you are open in a trade, you have to be alerted and close the position before losing many ticks if the market goes the other way. In play cricket trading. Trading cricket in play means that you are trying to predict the market moves when the game is played live. The most significant advantage of in play sports trading is that you can make informed decisions on when you will open your trade since you are watching the game live. In fact, cricket is one of the best sports to start with with in play trading. The test match the last days you can take your time as the odds do not move that fast. That could be perfect for newbie traders who want to get to grips with in play trading. On the other hand, in the limited over games like the T20, odds tend to move quickly into the game. That can be great for traders as many opportunities arise in the game. 
For example, a very popular cricket trading strategy is backing the first batting team when they lose a wicket. Markets tend to overreact with a batting team losing a wicket. Of course, big volatility is not for everybody. If you're not prepared, you can get dragged into the overtrading, which can cause significant losses. Also, cricket markets do not suspend on Betfair Exchange, so you need to be extra careful and supervise your bets when trading on cricket. Pitch conditions play a significant role in how cricket games will unfold. If you can find information on the pitch conditions before the start of the game, that could give you an edge on the other traders of this event. A flat pitch is more suitable for batters, so that the draw will be more possible result. Back in the draw and trade out in the game can provide dividends in such pitch conditions. Weather conditions. Unlike other sports, weather conditions can hugely impact how cricket is played, especially in the longer format games. If it's heavy rain is projected, then the draw becomes a more possible result as less cricket is going to be played during the five days duration of the game. So again, back in then lay in the draw as such conditions can be a good strategy. These are two simple trading strategies. If you put the time to the market, you will be able to create your own. And if you want to be profitable in cricket trading, you should improve your understanding of the following topics. Learn the different formats of the tournament. Cricket is played in different ways, so knowing the rules of each variation is fundamental if you want to know how to succeed. Study the player and their skills. Many players do not perform the same way in different weather and pitch conditions or in other formats. Having that information could be valuable to your trading. Monitor pitch and weather conditions. If you learn how to read the impact of the pitch and weather conditions on the batters and bowlers, that will give you a huge edge over the other traders. Monitor news and statistics. Study statistics and previous results at each ground can also prove very helpful. Market overreact. Many of the price movements on cricket trading are not that justified and if you manage to spot those key points you'll make money from cricket trading. And of course as every type of sports or stock trading having discipline on your staking, patience, calmness and willingness to learn the markets move will be crucial to your overall profitability. Cricket is not as popular as other sports leading to many mistakes from traders who are starting to get involved in cricket trading. The most common are as follows. Mistake 1. The most common mistake that is most cricket traders make is that you do not know the game's rules. Understanding how a game is going to unfold is crucial when trading cricket. Many different versions of the game are all played in different ways. Overtrading. The price movements on cricket are persistent. Many novice traders will try to catch every move, resulting in poor decisions when opening trades. And lastly, mistake 3. Poor decisions lead to losing trade. Chasing losses is one of the most common mistakes that traders make. Many traders will try and open new positions to cover losses, leading to even more losses. Well done for completing this video. Now time to move on to our next. Thank you for watching and together we're all trading the market.